We begin with a look at Chicago's violent Easter weekend. 50 people shot this weekend. Six people were shot. The gun used was reported stolen. 120 illegal guns. We know that states with the most gun laws tend to have the fewest gun deaths. So the notion that gun laws don't work, it's not borne out by the evidence. This is the last unregulated consumer industry in the United States of America. Teddy bears are more regulated than guns. This guy I know called me and asked me to take a look at making a teddy gun. It's two elements that typically are nowhere near each other. I think it's disturbing and uncomfortable to look at. When the Consumer Product Safety Act was enacted, guns were left off the list. It was a purposeful decision to not regulate guns like we might regulate any other consumer product. The teddy gun campaign is set to raise awareness about these issues. Look at that list that you have to manufacture a teddy bear. But it's just $150 in a form? If I want to get a manufacturer's license? That just doesn't seem right to us. We're all affected by the violence in the city. This is a public health crisis, and it should be approached that way. Toy manufacturers would prefer not to be regulated, too. But we do it because there's a reason why we want the toys our children to play with to be safer. That's what we're trying to accomplish with some common sense regulation on how and when and where and who can purchase these tools. It's a toy. It's a gun. OK. There is a completely understandable degree of absurdity to this comparison. But the absurdity illustrates just how absurd the total lack of regulation of guns is. It's not about taking guns away from people who are responsible and have a right to own guns. It's just enacting a series of checks so that we have a way to figure out where they are going from a law-abiding gun owner to a criminal. We hear about it all the time, you know, in particular with gun shows in Indiana. People go over and fill up their trunk with guns and come back over and then they sell them here on the streets. Her murderer went onto a website, found somebody who was willing to sell him a, a 40 caliber handgun with no questions asked, no background checks. If he was not able to get that gun so easily, he never would have done it. Never in a million years.